get some red snapper, sweet potatoes, and So we have a couple of teaspoons of olive oil here heating up. Add these leaves, thyme and garlic, and stir this up. Now for the potatoes. And because I'm putting fish into this, I'm not actually going to use some fish stock, so I'm just going to use some clean water. This is about four cups of water. Right. And to this I'm going to add two baby. Again. Turn this up. So I'll put some salt and pepper. Teaspoon of salt and vegetable bowl now. Two flat in there. And we're gonna stir this up. I'm gonna cover this, let it simmer for about 15 minutes before we add our fish to it. So see what's going on here. Alright, looking good. Leave that some more, about five minutes more before we add the fish. Here. 15 minutes has gone. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna take out about three or four ladles of this. And then I'll puree it in the blender and add it back to this. So before I put the fish in, that's what I'll do. Alright, so fish in. This is some red snapper I had. Just had the head of the red snapper and some collars and stuff like that. So just use that. Steam that. Add that there. Now we've added it into this. So I'm going to stir this up, then I'm going to add in the puree. So we add this, curate it. very low fire we're gonna cover this and leave this in very low fire for about five to eight minutes Yeah, red snapper. Once he buys them, a proof you don't know. Who <laughs> tastes good once he buys them? Can't get better than that. It is no food tastes good, but when it's coming back I empty. And try to get it. Shame. Actually, <laughs> nothing better than that. Garlic bread, everything finished. Can't actually nothing better than that. <laughs> <laughs>